And you know, the great thing about this one, you got this sweet oh, step down. All right, you know what, Ryan Cut? I am I'm done hitting my head on freaking RVs. It's time to talk about RVs for tall people, so let's go. Now, I might be a little biased, but it's not just the tall people among us who prefer a high ceiling in an RV. I mean, tall ceilings offer more headroom and clearance, sure, but they also make RVs feel a lot more spacious, a lot more open, and a little more like home. Now, in the world of towables, fifth wheels with high ceilings are pretty common, but travel trailers? It's a bit harder to find them with ceilings over six and a half feet. But that's why I'm here today. I'm gonna to be talking about five amazing travel trailers for tall people that I think you're gonna love. Now my list is gonna take us from the shortest unit to the tallest unit. So what do you say we kick things off with the ever impressive Cherokee Alpha Wolf. Coming in at an interior height of six feet, six inches. Let's go check it out. Notably, all 10 models of the 2024 Cherokee Alpha Wolf by Forest River, they come in at this elevated interior height, which means that you have floor plan options, which is always good. Now, 6'6 or 78 inches, it isn't a massive increase from many traditional travel trailer interior heights, but it is a perfect example of how even just a few more inches can give you a different feel inside the RV and might even impact certain design choices. Now, today I'm actually in the Forest River Cherokee Alpha Wolf 26RL. It's gonna serve as our example unit. So what do you say we take a look at a couple of features that often come with a little extra height? And even here in the living area, you've got space for an overhead microwave and some additional storage space above the hutch. Now, tall RVers are gonna love utilizing that extra storage space. And this is a common feature of many RVs with higher ceilings. You get cabinets and storage that go up a bit higher and that space is more utilized. For example, Cabinet space in here, you got 11 inches of height inside. As you tour some tall ceiling RVs or even barrel ceiling RVs, take note of these design choices and where the manufacturers have placed cabinets and additional storage. Now, if there's one major complaint us tallies have with shorter ceilings in travel trailers, it's the shower. And the reason is this, if the ceiling is only so tall and the shower head comes down this much, then those of us at about six feet tall end up doing the awkward shower dance, trying to wash our hair or even get beneath the shower head. Taller ceilings open up the shower space a little bit more. And as you can see here uh, in the Alpha Wolf models, actually include a very nice little feature. They give you more additional head clearance with the convenient skylight <laughs> that extends the headroom and makes showering a lot more comfortable. And that's actually just a general piece of advice. If you're looking for an RV, you're a taller person, you're shopping for a travel trailer, look for skylights in the shower because these buy you several more inches of headroom, bonk, bonk, not to mention the added benefit of having some natural light. All right, now let's check out the front bedroom and take a look at a couple of features. Primarily the storage, which is located right here above the bed. Now you see this curve in the space right above where the bed is, uh, which everybody that has a front bedroom travel trailer knows, look, this is par for the course. It's gotta be rounded on the end. Sure, we've got overhead storage, but this curve is already starting to lower everything. Even though we got a good 10 inches of clearance place and pr plenty of room, so you might wanna consider what a taller ceiling would mean for sleeping locations in the rear of the travel trailer where the ceiling curvature is absent. You would actually gain a ton more headroom with a bunk room or a taller ceiling in the back than you would here up front. Now I wanna explore a similarly tall lineup with the Keystone Outbacks. Let's go check those out. The Keystone Outback travel trailers have an exterior height of over 11 feet with their tallest unit coming in at 11 feet, six inches, which actually puts them among the taller travel trailers out there. Now, this exterior height actually buys you a bit more interior height with arch ceilings, six feet, six inches to be exact, or 78 inches. You get a total of nine floor plans to choose from with Outback, ranging from 37 and a half feet in length to just over 41 feet. 
These are long travel trailers with lots of interior space. I actually call them my Swiss chalets. And the extra height makes you feel right at home. Today, I'm actually gonna be exploring this one right here behind me, the 328 RL Outback. So what do you say we take a look at how the higher ceilings will make life a little bit easier for taller campers? Come on. Each of the nine 2024 Keystone Outback travel trailers includes at least one slide out in the living space, I mean, among other locations, which are gonna help expand that interior width. Slide outs always help a room feel a little bit bigger, but typically you lose a lot of interior height in the slide out section. For Outback, not so much. The Keystone Outback slide outs actually offer an impressive six feet of clearance. Uh, leaving these areas plenty of headroom. On the 328 RL, the slide outs include the dinette, some theater seating, uh, your entertainment center, and parts of the kitchen on the off-camp side. And I'll tell you, these extra inches are helpful in each, from getting up at the dinette to sitting down. I don't have to worry as much about bumping my head when I stand to leave. And in the kitchen, I can cook without feeling too hammed in, thanks to the slides. I don't know if the manufacturers have the same equation in their book, but for me, more wall space means more windows, or at least there's the potential for them is there. Now tour the inside of a Keystone Outback and you'll note the large, expansive windows are panoramic. This might not be a direct correlation to the expanded height in the interior, but the added height plus open windows really does make this feel open and residential. And you can't argue when you have a better view. You'll also notice the overhead storage in the living area and the kitchen allow for some extra storage as well as a pretty nice aesthetic. Lastly, I'd be remiss not to show you the shower space. Uh, even though this is located on the shorter side of the barrel ceilings, the shower is still expansive. And with the skylight, it feels much more like a residential shower than what you'd expect from a unit like this. And you get a good amount of head clearance, even with the skylight. The Keystone and the Alpha Wolf are great examples of travel trailers that give you a bit more headroom. But my next travel trailer is gonna take things up a notch with what's possible. Let's go check out the Jayco Eagles. The Jayco Eagles, so in terms of exterior height, the Jayco Eagle travel trailers offer similar clearances to the Keystone Outbacks, but you get a total of seven floor plans, ranging from 33 feet, 10 inches, to nearly 39 feet. But unlike the Keystone Outbacks, the interior height of the Jayco Eagle travel trailers comes in at a whopping seven feet even. That is six inches taller. Let's go check out this 312 BHOK. Now I'm inside the Jayco Eagle 312 BHOK, which actually features two unique counter space locations, one in the kitchen and one in the living area that can be used as a coffee nook or extra prep area. But beyond all the additional counter space, you're gonna notice the storage. And these overhead cabinets are large and in charge, going all the way up to the ceiling, 23 inches in there, giving you plenty of additional space for kitchen appliances, dishes, games, you name it. And that extra space is made possible <laughs> by these tall seven foot ceilings. Now, let's head on over to the shower and the beautiful marble design that's gonna be the first thing that catches your eye. See what I mean? This beautiful marble design, it's probably the first thing that catches your eye if you're checking this RV out. But don't let that distract you from the real defining feature. Again, you're looking for a tall shower made even taller with a nice skylight. So the tall among us can radically improve our shower experience and then have to be all crunching down. So I've talked about bunk rooms before and the benefits of if you have a taller trailer, how the bunk room's even better. Well, they give you more headroom, especially. This rear bunk room of the 312 BHOK is fantastic. One of these bunks, the extra space that it has, is pretty incredible. So beneath this campsite bunk, you got tons of storage, thanks to the drawers that we have here, all the space. Uh, you even got this ladder right here, and on top, a massive space from the bunk to the ceiling, seven foot high, remember. Now this is great for adults or grown kids. They can stretch out a bit, but more importantly, when they're flipping around, they're not gonna bump their head on the ceiling. And that's huge. Now I wanna take a look at what's possible with taller ceilings when we enter the world of toy hauler travel trailers. Specifically, one that's made by my friends at Grand Design. Let's go check it out. 
coming in at a whopping 92 and a half inches, which is over seven and a half feet tall. The Grand Design Momentum G-Class toy haulers have the highest ceilings on our list. Now sure, these are toy hauler travel trailers, which accounts for some of their unusual height. But let's take a look at how they utilize more than a foot more of extra clearance than our first unit on the list, the Forest River Alpha Wolf. Now today, I'm standing in the G25. This is a mid-size momentum that displays many of the benefits of having these extra tall ceilings. Now, toy haulers to me are the most versatile RVs because of the storage capabilities as well as the space. Now, this one, the Momentum G25, just so happens to have the Happy Jack bed system, which the controls over here, you'll see raise and lower, not only these lower cushions down here, which is the sofa, but also this queen size bed, which is up here. I have it in the up position and I wanted to show you this. Look at how much headroom we still have when you're talking about over seven feet of clearance space. This can sit here, you can enjoy your drinks. There's also legs underneath and legs on the back. So this will fold down and make into a bed as well. So extremely versatile when you're talking about space, but you pretty much only have this capability inside of a toy hauler setup because of this ceiling height. I'm pretty sure, even as a tall person, the showers on these taller ceiling units can feel cramped. But on the Momentum G25, there's no worry at all. Shaq could go ahead and do his free throws in here. The traditional headroom, gone. Plus you still got the skylight. So if you are minute bowl and you are nine feet, 17 inches tall, guess what? Uh, well, you can't because it's only seven feet of clearance in here, but hopefully your, my exaggeration is understood. The joke was caught by you. You can see that there is great headroom in this shower space. You're not gonna be cramped at all. More importantly, the steam going right over top of you and through the vent. Now, toy haulers make sense for people that are bringing bikes, kayaks, side-by-sides, golf carts, whatever. Because it's space, there's tie downs to keep your toys secure and you have the height to accommodate those things. But there's some added benefits to that as well. Mainly the fact that you get more space for windows and storage on top of larger windows. Add that to the fact that having seven feet of clearance inside of here, when you're talking about a ceiling, break out my old trusty tape measure here. Look at this. Look at thanks to the seven foot high ceilings, 23 inches up top, then you got another foot, maybe 13 inches on the bottom. That is good storage space in the kitchen. Plus, it's not missed on the storage that you have here in the bedroom as well. Seven feet of clearance gives us over 15 inches in the top, and over 13 inches in the bottom. So there you go. High ceilings make for great storage, versatile sleeping spaces, and pretty cool looks too. Pretty tall ceiling in that momentum, right? But what if I told you there was something else that could give you even more headroom? And no, I'm not talking about the fifth wheels. We'd probably say, well, what does that even look like? Well, let me show you. If you're interested in a travel trailer with a tall ceiling, you better know the extent of taller units available to you that don't require the towing setup of a fifth wheel. And while destination trailers are built for less frequent setup and teardowns than travel trailers, the Timberwolf 16ML is shorter and lighter and might actually be the perfect height ceiling camper for you. And when I say high ceilings, I'm in a different realm than what you've seen before. The interior of the Timberwolf 16ML, a trailer that's not even 28 feet long, comes in at, well, over 13 feet tall. So high, in fact, you got dual lofts on either end of the Timberwolf, and you're able to sleep up to five people in this smaller unit. Let's go check it out. Now, I did mention you're able to sleep five people in this smaller unit. And look no further than these stairs right here. The clearance on that bedroom up above and even the overlook right here. And when you stand in the living room, this doesn't even feel like an RV. There's a completely residential feel to this kind of RV. And that's what you get with a taller ceiling. Of course, the 16ML is a little bit of an exaggeration, but even five or six more inches in a unit is gonna make it feel a bit more like home. So two lofts 
but you also get a space below that was made creatively. The 16ml, they seriously took advantage of the space down here and added a patio spot for you and the family. And if that doesn't take the cake, I don't know what does. And there you have it. <laughs> there are some serious benefits to having high ceilings. There's certainly more out there, so be sure to check out other floor plans of the lines mentioned here. If you got any questions, rv.campingworld.com. Come into your local camping world or just leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching five amazing travel trailers for tall people. Hope you enjoyed it. More importantly, I hope I quit hitting my head in RVs from here on out. I'll see you later.